everybody. Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm actually doing pretty good. It's early in the morning, and when I say early, it's like quarter after seven in the morning. For some reason, I was up at about 4.30. Made myself get out of bed finally at six, so here I am. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with these. These are all from magazines, and they are different people that I have cut out. And here's what my plan is. I've got all different, um, this, this one here. I've got all different um, postures. And what I plan on doing is laminating these to make them into uh, masks for myself. So what I'm going to do first, though, before I do that, I don't really want to look at them. <laughs> This is some paint I just picked up at my local art store um, over the weekend. And it's called Chroma A2. It's a light, fast, heavy body acrylic. This is the Mars Black. Um, from what the lady at the art store said, this is a good student grade paint. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $4 for the tube. So it wasn't really expensive. And I just thought I want to try it. So what I'm going to do, I just put some on my mat here, you can see. Um, I just want to paint these guys and gals all black. And I'm going to do this on both sides of them. And then what I plan on doing is running them through my laminator. So I just wanted to share with you guys, I'm not going to, you know, painstakingly go through the process of painting all these. Um, I just wanted to show you where I started and we'll see where I end up. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these and we'll be back. All right, so what I've got here is a happy mess. I've got all of my figures um, painted black on both sides. What I'm going to do before I laminate them, though, is I do want them to dry really well. Okay. So I'm going to stick them here on my cookie sheet. I went and bought a cookie sheet for my room because I was tired of trying to find my other trays. So um, I'm going to let them dry really well and then I'll put them through the laminator and I will show you what they end up looking like in the end. Um, and we'll be back. All right, we'll chat with you all soon. Alright, for those of you who have never had a laminator or seen how they work, um, I've got my laminator out here. And I have my masks, which are painted completely black and um, put in the laminator sheets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send it through the machine. This is telling me that I've got a green light, which means it's hot enough. And basically what it's doing is it's melting these two pieces of plastic together. And then what I will do is cut out the masks. So that's what we're doing. It takes patience. Laminating is not a fast job. And depending on how, sometimes I'm, I'm very impatient and I run it through before it's hot enough. And when you do that, you end up with this air bubble all around the whatever you're laminating. So I've been trying to learn to be patient, to let it heat up so that I can only run them through once. Okay? That's hot. So there's one. This one, I only had two people in it, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I'll just use this piece to either do some alcohol inks on or who knows, something. But what I'll do is I'll cut these out and then I will have masks of these different um, people and positions and I just think it'll be a lot of fun. So we actually have four of them here I'm going to do. In this last one, <laughs> you're going to think I'm crazy. I call these guys my boys. Um, this is Jared Padalecki and that is Jensen Eccles. And what they do is they are the main characters on the show Supernatural. Um, and I call them my boys. I just, I love watching them. I love that show. Um, I think I'm on the 
fourth time of watching the full seasons again. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I'm obsessed. No, they're just, they're good guys. They're good people. Um, you know, they, they, they're all about their family and... And I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about, you know, in their own lives. They just, uh, they're good people. Hmm, that one looks like it's got fingerprints on it. So anyway, now what I'll do is I'll take these. Uh, and of course, you guys know me by now. I save all the scraps of this laminate. And I will use alcohol inks on it. I will cut these, fussy cut these out. For right now I'm just taking the main parts off. You know, this right here would even be a great thing to put in a travel kit to use as a palette. All this is a sheet of plastic. So. All right, so this one's done. And then my last one. Again, I've got Jensen and Jared on there, a.k.a. Sam and Dean. Then, like I said, what I will do is cut these out. to do this, though. And then I'll be able to use them as masks. Just doing the outside. All right, and see, I will have a mask. I still have to do the inside here. But that is what you can do with a laminator. That's just one thing you can do with a laminator. Um, oh, I should have colored them black. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to shut her off, unplug her. I'm going to do some fussy cutting, and then I'm going to have some masks. I'll come back and show them to you. I'll be back. Okay, so I wanted to show you these. I've got them all cut out. And basically what you do is you leave a small edge around them. That way the laminate stays stuck together. All right, so I've got all these masks cut out now. Now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to play just for a few minutes here with a couple of them. I'm going to start out with this couple. I have this, um, this is a Canson, I believe, XL. I think it's like an 8x10. Um, and I, what I have done is I was going to use this at one point for a personal journal. Uh, and I decided, no, I didn't really want to do it in here. So I've got a lot of backgrounds done, just odds and ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start filling this book, I hope, with people. So I've got the couple here that I'm going to use. I've got out some golden dioxazine purple. I had to look at that word for a minute. Ugh. Come on. And I've got my palette right here, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that down. Don't want a whole lot. And this is how we use a mask. Basically, we're just going to go around. Keep it held down. Now, a couple things about doing these for a laminate. Number one, they can be reused over and over and over again. Okay. The second thing, whoops, I just moved it a little bit. Um, the second thing is they're going to be very simple to clean off. Which, knowing me and the way I use stencils and masks and stuff, that won't happen. But, you know, it could. I keep moving her. Okay, let's just bring it off. All right. So there's a mask, which now I've got to work on this paint. You know what? I want a little bit of, hold on just a second. All right. I got out a little bit more paint and I put in some glazing medium 
because this is going to help me to um, spread it around a little bit more. So make it a little bit more blendable. See. It keeps the uh, paint open, meaning dry, I'm sorry, wet, a little bit longer so you have more time to um, play with the paint and to even blend it or just move it around. That's partially the glazing medium. If you try to take just regular fluid acrylic paint and do that, it's not going to spread like that. So we're just going to kind of spread it around. Okay. So there we are, we used that mask. Now I'll go ahead and eventually I'll finish this page and, and whatever, but as for right now, I'm not gonna do anything with it. Now this paint is already dry on here. So what I'm gonna do, even though it's black and you can't see it, I'm still just gonna wipe it off. Okay, just take a baby wipe, wipe it right off. Now, to be honest with you, I probably won't do this part of it. Um, I'll just let it dry and put it off to the side and use it again another day. But just to show you that it can be cleaned, because I know there are people out there that will clean their you know, stencils or masks or whatever every time they use them. I'm not one to do that. There you go. She's all cleaned off. Okay. So just real quick, I wanted to show you uh, what I was playing with and what I've been doing and and there you have it. We've, I've got myself some masks that I get to play with. So as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!